<laughs> get ready for a rare show that's going to be happening tomorrow morning. It's going to be the annular eclipse, and it's going to be the first time that we're going to be seeing it in 11 years. So we have our aficionado here on the well, desk with us, that. Lisa Hildago, you, you because are. she's going to yeah. break it down for us because this is really cool. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. And those at the Museum of Nature and Science, they're ramping up for it tomorrow. It's called the Eclipse Extravaganza there ah. at the museum. I had a chance to meet up with some of them. I got to play the role of the sun ah, right there. There you go. Yes. Yeah, coming in as the, the role of the we sun. We all revolve around Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to have some really cool stuff including these solar telescopes that have this insane filter on them so that mm -hmm. if you look at it, it doesn't blow your retina out. Uh, but the scientists will be out there to help the kids out there. Uh, so with your admission ticket, you can go in on the plaza. They're going to have the telescopes, a bunch of other little cool. gear like colanders, which will help to watch it. And uh, you'll get the glasses too included with that, which are four bucks. So. That's a nice. good, uh, good deal. Yeah. Now, an annular solar eclipse like the one expected tomorrow happens when the moon passes between the sun and Earth. Because the moon is farther away from Earth, it appears smaller than the sun and it does not completely cover the star. This creates that ring of fire effect that you're going to see in the sky. So it's going to be a little farther away um, on Saturday, um, and so it's not going to completely cover up the sun. So if you're at certain parts of the U.S., you're literally going to see a ring of fire. Uh, but here in Denver, it's not going to cover it all the way to see that ring of fire, but we're still going to see a spectacle of about that 80% totality. So to get the full experience, you'll have to head to areas in southwestern Colorado, like the Four Corners region, along with cities like Albuquerque to the south. Tomorrow's eclipse starts at 914 AM. Maximum coverage, that's when they want everybody at the museum, is going to be at 1036, and then it all comes to an end at about 1206. Now, the Museum of Nature and Science is hosting this ex eclipse extravaganza mm -hmm. from 9 to 1. Again, that ticket is going to get you a pair of those glasses. If you just want the glasses, they do have them for sale in their little shop for $4, so if you wanted to go buy and pick them up, but it's okay. going to be a lot of fun. All the experts, everyone will be out there for it. And I'm going to show you what the skies are going to look like tomorrow coming up in just a few minutes. Oh, yeah, right. that's cool. And you want to make sure that you have those glasses on. You just yes. don't no. want to look at them don't with your, your bare eyes. Don't do yeah. that, family. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa.